This is our case. Now we are going to see what is bridge design pattern in a detailed manner using real life example and real time examples. In the next video, we will try to write a Java implementation for bridge design pattern. So in this video, we will talk about the theoretical content about bridge design pattern using some examples. So first, what is a bridge design pattern? Before going to discuss about bridge design pattern, we first we will see what is a bridge. Generally, the bridge is used to overcome some hurdles without uh, knowing the internal implementation for example if suppose you consider this is a lake and this is a bridge if suppose if you want to cross this lake you can use this bridge and you can cross the bridge you don't want to uh, know the architecture or the materials raw materials that are used for constructing this bridge and etc so you know you just need the bridge to cross this lake you don't want the internal architecture and the other stuff for crossing the bridge so here this is called abstraction so we are uh, ignoring the internal architecture or inner details about the implementation so similarly if you take any software there could be two there would be two layers one is abstraction and then implementation so what is abstraction generally if suppose if you develop any software if suppose if you are using any apis for example if suppose if you are using java apis for example consider the map sort example uh, if you are using map or if you are using any of those collections like map or list the and then what link list etc you don't want to know the inner implementation details about that you can just call the methods like dot hat dot uh, had all dot put dot put all etc so the inner implementation uh, would be taken care by the java community similarly here that is called abstraction you don't want to know about the inner working details for using that those apis in real life example we can consider a fan example if suppose if you want to run the fan you can just switch on the fan you don't want to know the inner technical details about the fan uh, for example what are the raw materials used for uh, what are the coil which is used in the fan and then what is motor condition like that you just want to run the fan you can just put on the fan you can just put on the switch of the fan it will run so here it is called abstraction so this bridge design pattern comes under structural design pattern so structural design pattern is one of the important three categories of design patterns this is called structural design pattern so here the main concept and main motto of the bridge design pattern is to allow the abstraction and implementation to act independently so the abstraction layer can be written independently without knowing the implementation details similarly the implementation details implementation can be uh, written without uh, up knowing the abstraction details so both can be independent so for example let's consider an example so if suppose if you are a software developer and if you are using some software apis for writing an object for example you are writing an object save object you are just calling that object you are just calling that method called save object this is called api you are calling this api so here this api initially they have used a file to store the data and then after two years what they did was they have upgraded this file mechanism to database mechanism so they have used mysql or some pgsql database for storing the objects here these details would be abstracted to the client so if the client can just call save object the inner technical details can be handled by those uh, implementing implementing classes or implemented implementing uh, apis here you can throw any implementation at any time without affecting the abstraction layer so client don't want to worry about those things if, so if suppose if after two years if suppose if a new technology comes then that implementation can be upgraded to new implementation so here database can be replaced with the some other new technology so here the client need not to be worried about those things you can just call save object the inner things can be handled by the those implementing classes and then if suppose if the client is uh, asking about get object 
similarly what would uh, if suppose that the object was stored in file then the object would be retrieved from file if suppose if the object was stored in database then the from the database that object would be retrieved so the client need not to be worried need not worried about the inner mechanism you can just call those api methods you can just abstract this client as the abstraction over the implementation this is one of the important examples where bridge design pattern is playing a major role and then consider another example we will consider a real life example if suppose if you are a retail shop owner if suppose what you do is you, you, you would uh, send message to the customers to the uh, regular customers regarding the new products which whenever it comes to a uh, retail shop so you need to intimate the customers via sm you uh, are via sms or email or a facebook messenger or twitter the only way is to you don't have any technical knowledge regarding that so what you do is you have bought some software for doing that you could uh, just click on send message here yeah, the inner technical details are abstracted from the implementation that would handle all the technical details for example if suppose if the end customer uses mobile then when you click on send message then the sms would be sent to the client if suppose if the end customer uses email means then uh, this uh, trigger this triggering button would send the email to the end client if suppose if the end customer uses fb means then we are uh, using messenger this end uh, message would be sent so here the technical information would be hidden for for the client so the client can the client can just call some method to use those uh, technical information so here the technical details are abstracted for the client so these are the some real life examples where bridge design pattern is playing a major role we will try to implement uh, some sample code uh, using bridge design pattern in the next video so please stay tuned